Jam, I want to get into some updates. You know, we are now a little over halfway through what we hope to be, you know, to the end of this quarantine that we're in. And Diamond's still shut down. And although I haven't been making ongoing content about this, I think it's important that when we're together and we can, we give some updates and our thoughts on the situation. How you been and what updates have you seen? You know, let, let's get into it. Yeah, I mean, not not much has changed from the last time we did a podcast, right? We're still in quarantine. Diamond is not shipping new books. Uh, publishers like DC Comics are finding other ways to get their books out there using um, online retailers like Midtown Comics and DCBS. Now, Diamond, I think there's rumblings that they plan to open back up mid-May. Uh, but in the meantime, in-stock trades, cheap graphic novels, those websites that I use to get omnibus and hardcovers, they're getting their stuff in by other means as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when everything goes back to normal. Will everything be back to normal or will there be a new norm as far as comic book distribution? What will this look like going forward? That's really what it's about. But mid-May is wishful thinking. This is all speculation. We hope that a month from now we're back to normal, that we can start rebuilding. But there's no new news. I mean, that's that's really the bottom line with it. And I want to remind the community that if you're looking for like breaking news, something that Jem does that I really enjoy is when there's something that's really worth your attention, not just like gossip, but something actually happened that caused a like really big mo movement in the comic book community. Jem, you're always really quick to hit the mic. Yeah, for sure. If there's something that's big enough and that's factual and not kind of rumors or like you said, speculation, when Diamond gives an official date, I'll probably make a video as soon as I hear it. And I'm usually pretty available to knock out a video and put it out there. There's a lot of like opinion pieces happening, being kind of disguised as updates when bottom line is there's no new updates. Comics aren't being distributed and people are just worried about the industry. I want to acknowledge the challenges that stores are facing. Heck, stores across the countries are shut down and they can't even operate. However, hearing that there is light at the end of the tunnel that there is optimism, that we're going to be getting the comic book industry back, that the comics will come back. We'll be able to go to our LCSs again. They're not going to all be shut down after this. It's promising because that means that this is kind of a, a test round. This is something that we all have to kind of experience, especially the comic book stores, because they're going to have to learn to pivot. This is something that they have to expect could happen again. And right now we are seeing stores really coming out and delivering to their community and killing it in this marketplace. Yeah, the industry is going to have to adapt after this because we were shut down from like day two. It was like, it's over, but it's not over. Like you said, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it's very sad that a lot of creators got a pencil down notice and they're not able to work. But something else that has kind of come out of this, which I find really interesting and I'm a really big fan of, are these crowdfunded comics. These creators are putting out books independently by themselves and they're crushing it right now. There's a few of them out there putting up really big numbers and that's the type of hustle and grind that I love to see. And I think that's a positive thing. That's I mean, it started before this, but it's really taken off with everything else being shut down. These crowdfunded uh, creator-owned projects are really flourishing. We were talking about Joe Schmalky last week on the Top 10 and he recently, in the last two weeks, funded a Kickstarter for Electric Black. Brian Polito, who's been doing so much for the comic book community since the early 90s, recently exceeded 300 grand on his recent Kickstarter. Ethan Van Skyver, just like breaking records regularly. People are still buying comics, man. And if you look on eBay, the sales tab, go look at it yourself, comic fam. You guys are hungry for your comic books. You guys are buying like crazy. And I like to imagine that all of this right here means that when we do have the ability to go hit our LCSs again, to go in store, to anxiously await our Wednesday polls and to, to get our comic books, that we're going to see what could be not just like the mark of, of something that was like really, really crappy, like, like in the comic book history where diamonds shut down and no one got comics where we know maybe we're going to see the biggest resurgence. Maybe we can see records break when we come back. Totally, man. I'm really ready for the upswing of this thing. I'm looking forward to it.